it's Amy and I'm just gonna go through real quick what you need before you begin. The most important thing you need when making sourdough is your sourdough starter. So you may have gotten some in the mail from me or um, if I'm not local to where you live, you could also get somewhat, uh, get some starter from someone in your town. You could ask on Facebook groups like Military Wife Facebook groups or local uh, pages and um, I'm willing to bet that someone would be willing to give you some of their starter and you don't need very much, just about a teaspoon is enough. Um, and then also you'll need uh, a container. Uh, this is a pint container and that's, I would say, the minimum if you're making one loaf of bread. You want at least, it, you want your container to be at least a pint. Um, the second thing that I think is really important is you're gonna need a kitchen scale because most bread recipes are in grams and uh, the bread recipe that I use is also in grams. And um, that is something to get used to, but to me, it's actually simpler. Um, it's easier when you're using the scale. So um, that's something that's, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. They're really easy, um, really easy to just order real quick. And they're also at Walmart. Um, the third thing that you need is some kind of baking vessel. Um, so uh, what I started with, and what I most recommend is a Dutch oven. This is a large cast iron Dutch oven. Um, and that is to me the best way to make bread. However, I also really like making bread in loaf pans and um, you can make kind of a poor man's loaf pan or Walmart loaf or uh, a Walmart Dutch oven, if you will. Um, these are $4 each at Walmart. So um, if you don't already have them, this is just a really, um, cheap alternative that still gives you the lid, which is necessary um, with making the bread. Um, so yeah, so this is another option. So cast iron um, Dutch oven or any kind of Dutch oven and loaf pans. Um, either of those will work. And then the other thing that I rec really recommend um, before you get started is to go out and buy uh, King Arthur all-purpose flour and also uh, King Arthur whole wheat flour. Uh, you need both of these because to feed your starter actually you're going to be mixing them up 50-50 uh, and um, I actually I can show you um, I actually keep I'm almost out but I actually keep a container just specifically for starter food and I will just like mix up a bunch at a time and that's half and half of these two flowers. And that's how I feed my starter, which I'll talk a lot, uh, a bit about um, in my video. So um, then the last thing that I recommend that you have is also some parchment paper, which actually I'm out right now, so I don't have any to show you, but it really needs to be parchment paper, not wax paper and not um, like freezer paper. It's gotta make sure it says parchment paper. And that just makes it easier to put in the baking vessel and move around. Um, it's not absolutely necessary, but it, it is a lot easier. So make sure you have some parchment paper. Um, also just a mixing bowl. I think I think most people are gonna have a mixing bowl, but this is about the size I use. And mine also has a lid, um, but you can use saran wrap or a clean towel. Um, and uh, that should be it. So um, if you have all those things, then you are ready then to start um, the Doe and Diva class.